E nei giorni scorsi ho ricevuto il visto video da Rum, che è stato in pellegrinaggio, e sentiamo un po' cosa ci racconta. Hello Nicola, it's a message uh, from Hanakaba. Buona, buona. Just, uh, um, you can see all around it so many people. I can't get very closer to Hanakaba, but all the best and see you, bye. Arun, you've been in Mecca last week, so talk about uh, your experience. Was the first time that you were in Mecca? Hey, so it's really good to talk about uh, my holiest experience in Mecca. Uh, in fact, it was my second time, and the first time was really a reality check. Uh, and uh, a reality check, what we believe, Mecca is house of God. You come to the house of God, uh, ask for forgiveness, ask for guidance, do a lot of prayers, okay? So there are two uh, things you can do. Uh, one is called Umrah, which you can do any time of the year. And one is Hajj, which is coming in, I think, August or October, uh, September. Uh, it's kind of a yearly thing. So what we believe Muslims is, um, uh, Hajj is one of a very uh, fundamental concepts of Islam, okay? And Umrah is you go in to revive your Iman. What Iman is really about faith. So let me talk to you about some of the things we do in Umrah so, or how our trip went. So we drove from, um, uh, from this town um, uh, for 12 hours to Mecca, uh, which is Damam. So say from Damam to Mecca, we traveled for 12 hours. First. Uh, at a certain point before entering to Mecca city, we put our white clothes on, which you can see probably in TV right now. Uh, so all the people put on the white clothes, especially when you are doing the Umrah. Um, uh, once you're at the Umrah place, uh, what you do is uh, there's a certain procedure to do it. That certain procedure is like you, um, you have to circle the haram which is the black building you see in the TV seven times uh, uh, around the park. Uh, you say certain prayers. Um, then you come to another section of the Haram building where um, you have to do kind of a walking for, it's about walking of 3.5 kilometers to say. Uh, and uh, you kind of actually try to explain um, you're trying to relive the memories of prophets and you know what happened. Uh, there's a very big fountain uh, there called Zamzam. Uh, it has a very historic reasoning. Um, so this was my experience and uh, in general my experience was really really uplifting. Um, maybe I can tell you more about it in the next episode.